Hi, I'm Michael Burton, executive producer for Real Entertainment, located in Atlanta, Georgia. We offer full service video production for any project. Now I want to tell you how to delete junk files in Windows XP. First of all, let me start off by saying that Windows XP is a registered trademark of Microsoft and I am not affiliated with Microsoft. To delete junk files in Windows XP, there is a number of ways to find junk files. Believe me, we all have junk files on our computer system. Believe me, we all have junk files on our computer system. There are so many ways to find these junk files, uh, and some of them work better than others, and some of them you have to do uh, simultaneously. Uh, let me show you a couple of those ways. The first and easiest way is to go to the Start menu. You go to your Control Panel. You go under Performance and Maintenance. Now you have an option here under the new Windows XP. I believe on the old, the, an older version of Windows XP, instead of saying free up space on your hard disk, I actually think it, it calls it the disk cleanup wizard or the disk cleanup, or something like that. But here it says free up space on your hard disk. And if you click on that, that is exactly what it is. It is the disk cleanup. Here you're going to select the drive that you want to clean up. Let's just choose our C drive for right now. And while it's doing this, let me explain a little bit. This is the disk cleanup program exactly what it's doing. It's going to calculate how much space that you'll be able to free up and then it'll ask you to choose what you want to erase or compress. What cleaning up your hard drive does is it not only does it give you more space but it does help your programs to run a little bit faster because it doesn't take so long to sift through all the all the junk that is in there. Okay now that's done running the disk cleanup as you can see here under temporary internet files we've got quite a bit of files. Um, actually our recycle bin has quite a few as well. Uh, which is not check marks. So we're going to go ahead and check our recycle bin. This is all the stuff that I want to clear up and off of here. Of course, temporary internet files, those are all those files that the internet downloads to your computer. Now, let me explain this. If you don't want to delete your temporary internet files, you don't need to. Uh, the thing with the temporary internet files are is that it's different than cookies. Cookies is like a record of the websites that you visited and with temporary internet files those are files where if you visit a website with um, with flash or video content photos it basically uh, keeps a recording a record of all those files so that when you revisit that website it loads faster and so if you don't want to delete those temporary internet files you don't need to but they do just take up space on your on your computer a lot of space and as a matter of fact I'm going to show you another way to erase temporary internet files um, right after this because I have I have found that I will go on the internet and erase my temporary internet files which is the way that I will show you and then I've come back in here for the disk cleanup and there's it's still showing temporary internet files and so I, it never completely erases every single temporary internet file I have as you can see here I've got a lot I've got some offline web pages I've got some set up log files temporary files left over temporary files are also good ones to delete and I can compress old files. I've got quite a few. I am not going to do that right now because it does take a while. But you can choose to compress those, which will save you space in the long run. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And that is going to perform the, the disk cleanup and get rid of all of my junk files uh, that, I, that I don't need. Now, another way to do this while it's doing this, uh, to delete at least the temporary Internet files, is to go to your Internet Explorer. You open Internet Explorer. You go over here to where it says Tools. You scroll down to Internet Options. Right here under Browsing History, it gives you the option to delete temporary files, histories, cookies, save passwords, and web information. So if you click Delete, here's all your options highlighted. Now, I don't want to delete passwords. I don't want to delete my form data. That, that's form data that you've typed into forms. History, I don't want to delete the history of the websites that I visited. And I don't want to delete my cookies. Right now, I just want... I'm. I'm more concerned with these two, the, the web's, uh, favorite website data and the temporary internet files because that's going to take up the most room on my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and click delete and it's going to do its thing. doesn't look like there were too many. So now that that's done, I'm going to close the Internet Explorer. Now, that's just a few of the junk files that you have on your computer. There's so many others. Like, for example, you can go under your uh, control panel once again, go to your add or remove programs, and this gives you a compl not a complete list, but a, a huge list of all the programs that are currently installed on your computer. And if there's any programs that you're not using or that are just taking up space, I tend to go down here every so often, especially when I first restart my computer or I purchase a new computer, um, because I can. it gives me a chance to go down and delete any types of programs that I'm not using. Now, I recommend that if you're not sure of what the program does or how it's used, um, I would just go ahead and leave it on, especially if it's not taking up too much space like an 8 megabyte program. I would not delete it if you don't know what, what it would affect because sometimes when you delete programs, it does affect other programs. Uh, I know running video programs on my computer, if I delete 
you know, one video program, it, it will have an effect on the other because they're all tied into this like video, uh, this video library. And so don't delete anything that you're not sure of, but you can come in here and delete programs that you're not using as well, and that will give you more space. That's considered a junk file. That'll give you more space on your computer. Another way to do that also is to actually go under my computer and you go into your C drive and then you want to go to your program files. Now if you see in here that there's any files or I mean programs that you're not using uh, or that you never will use, uh, go ahead and delete them uh, because there's no, it, it's just taking up space on your computer and uh, it it's, uh, basically takes more time for your registry to go through everything. Now you will come across already deleted programs that you've removed from the remove programs and they will have executive files, executable files or .exe files left over. Sometimes you cannot delete those. If you're having an issue with those or it's giving you a warning saying that there's that, that program is currently running, you cannot delete it, but yet you never use it, chances are it's being run in the background, it's being run as a task, or it's being run on startup or um, login. So if you hit control alt delete, that'll bring up your task manager and you can scroll down through all your .exe files, your executable files, to see if one of them is, is uh, related to the program that you are trying to delete. If it is and you find the one, you can go ahead and end the process and then try deleting it. If you're still having an issue with that, chances are that the computer is telling it to start on startup. It's set to start up on startup. And so you can go and download a program called Auto Runs for, from Windows. And it's sort of the same thing as your task manager. It's just a lot more in depth and uh, it will show you every single program that you have scheduled to run during your boot up or login and then you can you can tell it to stop and then go in back into your program file and then try re-deleting that executable file and you should be fine.